Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Good morning, noon or night, wherever you are. My name is Jasmine, and if you're new to this channel, my boyfriend Chris and I run it, and we share vegan recipes, lifestyle content, everything in between. We want to show people that vegan is easy, approachable, sweet and simple, and we want to be a resource that you can turn to for new recipes, information, and everything regarding veganism. So, Today is all about recipes for beginners. So we're making recipes that are for new vegans, for those who are interested in the lifestyle, or even just for those who want to eat more plant-based meals and don't know where to start. We've got you covered. I'm making three recipes today that are easy, approachable, affordable, and lastly, familiar. I feel like that's one of the most important things when I share vegan recipes with non-vegans or new vegans. I wanna show them that you can eat things that you used to enjoy as a non-vegan, and it tastes just the same, if not better, and it's pretty easy to do. So I'm making three recipes today. It's gonna to be breakfast, lunch, and dinner, basically. So the first recipe is a vegan buttermilk pancake recipe. The second recipe is a tofu and vegetable noodle stir fry. I am so excited for that. We haven't done one of those on our channel, I don't think ever, so. I have been looking forward to this for a while. And then the third recipe is a simple vegan tortilla soup. All of these, again, are affordable, they're easy, and you can purchase all of the ingredients at just a regular old grocery store. So, I'm going to finish my matcha, I'm gonna set up all our lights, get everything ready for you, and we're gonna get cooking. So, for breakfast, I'm making vegan buttermilk pancakes. These are very simple, require simple ingredients, and very delicious. So, the first thing I have is some oat milk in just a cup, bowl, whatever you got and I'm going to be adding an acid to it. So in order to make buttermilk, basically we need to curdle the milk and it's very easy to do. You just need one cup of any plant-based milk of your choice and then you need a tablespoon of an acid. So you can use apple cider vinegar, white vinegar, lemon juice. I'm just gonna take the vinegar, pour it into the milk. Once you mix it together, the milk will start to curdle and you'll start noticing a change in the texture. It's gonna take maybe five, five to 10 minutes, probably five minutes, so it really doesn't take that long. So I just put this together, I'm gonna set it aside. So we're gonna make our vegan egg replacement next, and there are a ton of different things you can do for egg replacement. You can use applesauce, mashed banana, um, they even sell vegan egg replacement in powder form, which is usually chickpea flour or um, chia seeds. I buy flaxseed meal, which is just ground up flax seeds and I use this for egg substitution or chia seeds, which work really well too. And the key to flaxseed meal is to keep it in the fridge so it doesn't go bad. And to make the egg, you need three tablespoons of water and you're going to mix it together with one tablespoon of flaxseed meal. You can also do three tablespoons of water, one tablespoon of chia seeds as well if you have chia seeds. Just mix that together with the water and the flax seeds will start to kind of gel up They'll thicken and it'll become a really nice binder for the recipe. Have fun, experiment. I am telling you all of these ingredients because obviously this is the recipe that I use and I want to be able to give you some ideas of what you can use, but the best thing or the best advice I can give to you as a new vegan is to just experiment with your cooking because when I first went vegan, I, for one thing, I didn't really have experience in cooking and I was freaked out by everything. I did not know what to eat, what to do, where to turn to. Um, but what I realized was once I went vegan, I started trying so many different recipes and ingredients specifically that I hadn't tried before. There are so many vegetables that I hadn't tried until I went vegan and now I, I eat a much larger variety than what I did when I was non-vegan. So the only way to do that is to experiment, to try new things, and to step outside of the box. So for dry ingredients, I just have some regular old all-purpose flour, unbleached all-purpose flour. And I wanted to share, we also have this flour. It's one-to-one -one gluten free baking flour from Bob's Red Mill. And I've actually used this in the pancakes and it works well in case any of you guys are looking for a gluten free re replacement. Gluten free flours. It says one-to-one, -one, but honestly, sometimes it's horrible. But it works for most recipes, just depending on what they are. For baked goods like breads and um, like cinnamon rolls, that sort of thing, I've had a really hard time with it. But for things like cookies, pancakes, um, I've had success with it. So it's kind of trial and error with gluten-free flour. It's always going to be. It's, baking is a science, so 
If you want to dive into that, you totally can. But today I'm just using regular um, gluten flour just because we have so much of it in this house that I need to use up when my parents were here. We made a lot of things with flour. So we have a big old bag in our pantry and I just want to use it up. So I also have some sugar. And you can use coconut sugar if you would like here too, um, but I'm just using regular organic cane sugar. So I got those. Next up, we have baking powder. And baking powder is really the secret ingredient in this recipe. It reacts with the acid, which is the apple cider vinegar that we use in the buttermilk. And that reaction causes the pancakes to fluff up and become fluffy buttermilk pancakes. So I have some baking powder here. By the way, all of the measurements for this will be linked down below. Um, if you wanna check out the full recipe, it's on sweetsimplevegan.com. And then got some salt. I'm just going to mix that together, make sure it's nice and uniform. This is where you can add any um, spices if you would like. Cinnamon would be really good in here. Um, I'm just gonna keep it plain and simple today. So for wet ingredients, um, I have obviously the vegan buttermilk that we put together. And then I have the flax egg, nice and gloopy now. Lastly, just some pure vanilla extract. And all you gotta do is just whisk this together until it is uniform. So I'm gonna cook the pancakes now. And um, I have my pan here going over medium heat. And what I like to tell people is the first pancake is always the tester. So I feel like the first pancake is always the ugly one because you are trying to figure out the perfect temperature um, for the pancake, the perfect cooking temperature. You don't want it too hot, but you don't want it too low. So I have it on medium right now and I'm just going to wiggle it around um, based on how the first pancake cooks. And the second thing is I don't, I don't grease this pan. This is a ceramic pan and it works really well with pancakes. I haven't had a problem with it sticking, but if you are using a pan that you need to add some oil to, feel free to do that now as well. Um, so I'm letting this heat a little, and I'm going to be using a measuring cup to make sure that all of my pancakes are the same size. Unless you wanna do something like alphabet pancakes or something a little fancy, feel free to do whatever um, works for you. But I just want to keep mine uniform and simple. So I'm gonna be using the quarter cup. Ow! Mother Ah, oh, I just tripped on the light and my toenail. And not only ripped, but it like ripped in the middle. So, woo! Okay, well my toe is burning. Um, I realized we had some blueberries and Chris likes blueberry pancakes. So I'm gonna add some of those to some of the pancakes. I'm going to put the bata on. So I wanna show you how much these fluff up. They look pretty flat now, but once they um, start cooking and the baking soda and vinegar reacting with the heat, it's gonna go whoo. That'd be really good. So this one's a tester, so I'm not gonna add blueberries to it because I wanna add the blueberries to the better ones. So this guy's just gonna be plain. I love these pans. If anybody's in the market for new pans, um, these are from World Market. No, not World Market. I just love World Market too. The stools are from World Market. We just got those. These pans are from Home Goods. I love them and a lot of you guys love them too. Everyone always asks me where I get them from not affiliated with this company at all, um, but the actual brand of the pans is um, Masterclass. So they have different color sizes, shapes. Um, we have three, but I'm probably gonna invest in more in the future. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, this guy's burned, but now I know that the temperature is way too high, so I'm just gonna lower it um, to three. Burnt pancake, hooray. <laughs> Chris is finally done. We're having a pancake eating contest. No, how many do you want? Like this much? Yeah. Not too many? I'm just gonna give you half and then whatever we don't finish, we'll just save it for tomorrow. Uh, well. All right, pancakes, bananas, maple mm -hmm. syrup. Delish. I need more syrup. Okay, there's some here. So um, mm. we're gonna eat this now. They're so good with blueberries. Highly recommend it. Recipe will be linked down below mm. if you guys want to check it out. I remember we were going to make pancakes with your... Oh, we did make pan pancakes with your parents, but your dad didn't want blueberries, right? Yeah, I was going to put blueberries. No, 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 no. <laughs> 
All right, let's do Zoom. All right, it is lunchtime. I am getting all the ingredients out and ready for the stir fry. I also didn't put away anything from the pancake, so I gotta do that right now too. But we're gonna do a noodle stir fry here are the noodles we were using, and they just so happen to say vegan on them. I actually didn't buy these because they said vegan on them. I just bought them because they were the noodles that we needed. But just make sure when you are purchasing noodles for stir fries, just make sure you don't get egg noodles if you want it to be vegan. Most of the ones with eggs said egg noodles on it, so it's pretty easy, but just a heads up. I just, wait, I just want to pop in real quick and say I miss you guys, and I'm sorry I can't be cooking, and I want to thank Jasmine for cooking all these recipes. Chris is making you guys dinner, huh? I think so. <laughs> you are. <laughs> so I'm prepping the ingredients right now and I'm just chopping up all the veggies. And I wanted to share mushrooms if you're new to cooking. Don't run them underwater to clean them because mushrooms are like sponges and they will absorb all that water and they do already have a lot of water in them. So what I do, get a wet paper towel or a wet towel and just wipe off all the dirt from the mushrooms to clean it off and then slice them. Here are all my rainbow veggies. I just took a photo, I'll put it on the screen. But I have mushrooms, cabbage, spinach, snow peas, green onion, garlic, and ginger, carrots, and bell peppers. So the first thing I need to do is press my tofu and I usually press my tofu with a tofu container but this one we actually purchased with a soft container so I'm not able to do that today but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do instead. I put my tofu on a plate and I'm actually going to get a towel, a clean kitchen towel. You can also use a paper towel as well but I prefer to use this. And I'm going to wrap the tofu up so that the water gets absorbed on both ends. So what I did was I kind of folded the towel twice on both ends so it's kind of thick. I'm going to set a cutting board on top like this. And then I'm going to place a cast iron skillet on top that's pretty heavy. And I'm going to press this for as long as I can. I usually like to do it for an hour. I don't have that much time right now. Why is it having a hard time focusing? I usually press it for about an hour. I don't have that much time right now. All right, I'm actually going to eat my other, so my cast iron is like way in the back of our cabinet and I'm too lazy. So I'm just gonna get our rice container and put this on top of the tofu and press that for about an hour. So I'm just gonna start really quickly by making the stir fry sauce and this is really simple. I'm going to mix together a few wet ingredients, a dry ingredient, and that's it. So for the sauce, we need a base of soy sauce. And then I'm also just going to add in some water as well. We got some maple syrup here. You can also use agave nectar if that's what you prefer or coconut um, nectar. I've also seen people add brown sugar to this too. If you have brown sugar, you can totally use that. Next, we're adding sesame oil, and whenever I buy sesame oil, I always make sure to get toasted. It just has so much more flavor, so I would recommend that if you are going to purchase some at the store, or if you've never tried toasted. Toasted is where it's at. And then I have some rice vinegar here. This is unseasoned rice vinegar. Sriracha, about a teaspoon. I'm just gonna eyeball this. The last thing I'm adding is some cornstarch, and I'm only adding about two teaspoons of it. It seems very small, but it's going to help the sauce thicken up later on. We add it to stir fry. So now that the tofu is pressed, I'm just going to cut it into cubes. You can really cut it into any shape you want. You can do, you can dice it, you can cut it into triangles, you can cut it into strips, you can cut it into like long flat rectangles for tofu steaks. Depending on what you're making or what you prefer, um, this is what I like to do though. So next I'm gonna make the marinade for the tofu and it's very similar to the stir fry. It is soy sauce, maple syrup. Again, you can use agave, you can use uh, maple syrup, coconut nectar. I would use a liquid sweetener in this rather than um, something like brown sugar or granulated sugar. The tofu will absorb the flavor more. Some sesame oil. We have some grated ginger, fresh. You can also use powdered if you'd like, but I prefer the fresh because we're gonna cook this on a pan, so it's gonna cook nicely. We have some fresh garlic. I recently got a garlic press, and if you don't have one, I would recommend it. It just makes life easier, honestly. Cut your garlic in like two seconds rather than a minute. <laughs> Cutting garlic isn't that hard, but this just saves time, especially if you cook a lot or if you just don't have time. Um, I prefer it. Just a little hard to clean, 
but just get a scrubbing brush in there and that'll get the job done. I'm gonna grab a spoon here and just, just mix this around until it's nice and uniform. So you can marinate it in this container, which most people have, just like a Tupperware or a bowl. Um, you can also put it into a Ziploc bag, which is actually a little better in this case because you can kind of shake it around and make sure everything is well coated. Um, I just don't have any clean one right now. So we use reusable um, Ziploc bags, which I'd recommend. The brand we like is called Stasher. We don't have any clean ones right now, so that's why I'm doing this. But I would prefer doing that because you get the marinade um, to evenly coat everything. So I'm just going to add all the tofu into here and kind of toss it around, make sure the marinade coats every bit of the tofu. So basically, I'm just going to marinate this for as long as possible. The longer the better, the tofu will absorb more flavor because tofu is like mushrooms like I was talking about earlier. It's like a sponge, so it will absorb whatever you marinate it in. And that's why we um, pressed it. You want to press out all the liquid and then re replace that liquid with flavorful liquid, if that makes sense. So this is going to be nice and sesame-y. And Sesame. E. And good for the recipe. So this is pretty well coated. I'm going to let this marinate for as long as I can. And um, yeah, so I think that is it for this counter. We're gonna move back here and get the stir fry going. All right, so I'm gonna be cooking the noodles on the side. The noodle, the noodles are going to depend on what your package suggests because there are a ton of different noodles you can use for a stir fry like this. So mine says to mix the noodles with boiling water for one to two minutes and then when they start floating to cook them for another five minutes and then remove them and run them under cold water. Um, but there are, yeah, there are a bunch of different varieties of noodles, so just make sure you know what kind you have and cook it according to the direction. So I'm gonna get cooking now. I got my wok here, I'm really excited to use it. So in the wok, I'm just gonna add a little oil. And I'm gonna first start off with my garlic, ginger, and onion. Next, I'm gonna add my veg. So, so I'm gonna add my mushrooms, bell peppers, and carrots. I'm gonna throw in. I have everything on different plates just because I was taking pictures. And also some cabbage. So I'm gonna cook this up for a few minutes just until everything starts to get nice and soft. So depending on how soon you need your noodles or how long you need them to sit, you might want to drizzle some sesame oil on them just so that they don't start to stick together. Just a little bit, you don't need that much. I'm gonna add some snow peas and spinach now. A really good way to get in greens is to cook spinach down or to blend it into a smoothie. I am guilty of not getting a lot of greens in, so Chris and I are trying to be adamant about it this year and just put it into meals, as many meals as we can, so. Um, today, it's going into our stir fry. If you want, you could just skip the tofu all together too. I just wanted to give an option just in case you wanted to add a protein to this. So now, I'm going to grab my noodles and just toss those in. Pour over our sauce. I'm going to toss everything in the sauce and the sauce is a bit um, watery right now, but I'm just going to cook it until the sauce thickens to how I want it. You'll You'll know when it's done, it'll become like saucy. I encourage you to play around with this recipe and add whatever you'd like, take out whatever you'd like. Whatever veggies you prefer, toss them in. That is it, I am done. Um, that didn't take long at all. I actually have to make the tofu, but if you don't wanna make the tofu, like I said earlier, you could totally leave that out. But this is very simple. It's a really good way to get in a lot of vegetables and you can customize it however you'd like, like I mentioned. So the tofu, like I mentioned earlier, if you have more time, that's preferred, but I didn't have that much time today. So what's good is I'm cooking this on a pan. When I cook it, the tofu will cook with the juices, so it'll still be really good. Ooh, it smells bomb. I'm gonna make sure everything gets all that goodness, all that juice. So after a few minutes, I'm just gonna start flipping the tofu just to make sure that all the sides get nice and cooked and all the sides get the um, leftover marinade on the pan. I'm using a chopstick. I'm just using it to gently flip the tofu. You can use whatever utensil you have, but I just feel like this allows you to not break the tofu a little better. It's very gentle. The tofu is done. It looks bomb. Uh, move that. And then I have 
my, whatchamacallit here, my stir fry. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add some toasted sesame seeds on top. And then, this is optional, but I like cilantro. Sorry, Chris. Chris can deal with cilantro. He's not like my brother. My brother thinks it tastes like soap. The tong, the tong, tong, tong. This made less than I thought it would make. Mm. So next time I want to make double for sure. But, for sure, um, for sure. I hope we don't get copyright claim for that. I know it was pretty spot on too. It was uh, actually. The Cisco, record, man. so. S Y S. I'm just gonna grab these with my hands, these tofus. A little more sesame seeds. A little bit of a cilantro. Gourmet. Gourmet. I want to eat it with chopsticks, but I, I don't have time for that right now. Do you want a fork? No, I like I'm gonna eat it with a, just a knife. Just one, one sharp ass knife. Mm -hmm. Ooh, these smell so good. I love sesame seeds. You can also um, use spaghetti noodles for this if that's all you have. It's a pro tip right there. I'm gonna go be an asshole and go take a photo in the middle of the street. <laughs> what? I'll be right back. I think I'm gonna do all my photos out there from now on. How did it turn out? Can you really turn nice. this off? What? Can you stop recording? No, 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 no. Here, you need lime. It's so good with lime. I'll put that in the instructions. I think lime needs to be drizzled on it no matter what. You can't really see it. Mm -hmm. There you go, wow. Great photo. Good Take job, it with the iPhone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was an easy vegan stir fry recipe. Again, mm. tofu is completely optional. Actually, it didn't even need the tofu now that I'm eating it, but the tofu is still good. All right, I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna prep dinner before we leave. We have to go pick up- I'm our making dinner tonight. Jasmine's yes, been doing too much work today. We gotta go pick up our dog, so. His name's Barry. Just in case anybody's <laughs> new here, if I say like, we're gonna go pick up Barry, then I think we have a kid. Barry, imagine we name him. he's basically a newborn kid. Barry. A little baby named Barry. Baby Barry. <laughs> That's really cute. Okay, I keep talking. We're gonna eat and then I'll be right back. All right, we are making tortilla soup a little bit later this evening, but we're gonna pick up Barry first. And in the meantime, we're gonna be using an instant pot to cook some beans. These are black beans, but I think they're blue. <laughs> um, these are blue beans. <laughs> Come on, that looks blue. It looks really blue to on camera. Right <laughs> you so, smoked too much weed. No, I haven't smoked any weed today. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, it's, it's definitely better if you use dry beans as opposed to canned beans, but both work. We also recommend soaking the beans before cooking them in Instant Pot. It's not entirely necessary, however, they will come out with a better texture. If you soak them beforehand, you'll also fart less, which is always a good thing. Um, and they're easier to digest. And they're also easier yeah. to digest. So I have a problem with farting regardless. <laughs> so anything I can do to help minimize that, I gotta do it. So we're, we soaked these for a few hours. You could do it overnight. But we're just gonna pop these in the Instant Pot right now. And then we're gonna use the knuckle method, the second knuckle method to measure this out. So basically all we do for that, so we have beans here in the pot. We're gonna put our hand in here and then we'll measure, that's the first knuckle? I think we do second. The first line? I, th I, I always measure first, it to there, right? First, we do first for rice. For, oh, I first for beans, rice, think, second line. I think beans we might do more. I would just do more just to be safe. All right, and you can always drain the beans if there's too much water, but I'd rather have too much water than not enough. Yeah. So basically we're gonna measure water up to my second knuckle. You can season it with onions or garlic or whatever you want to season it with. We're going to keep ours plain because we're going to share it with berry too. Um, not obviously the soup, but just the beans. <laughs> uh, and then we'll season the, the soup so the beans will then be seasoned also. So we're just going to pop this on. We're going to go blue pick water. berry up. <laughs> These are blue beans. <laughs> um, and then be we'll cooked. make the soup when we get back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're making the tortilla soup right now and either I'm high or I'm cutting onions. Or maybe it's both, but <laughs> I want to just teach you a quick tip on how to dice onions. Um, if you're anything like me, it really like, makes you cry a lot. So I want to make it as quick and as painless as possible. So what I like to do is cut the onion in half this way, maybe lengthwise. 
and then I'll cut it like, depending on the, the depth of the onion, I'll cut it a few times, but not all the way through. And then I'll put it back this side down. I don't know how to call that. Cut side down. And then we're just going to cut it this way, but not all the way through again. Oh my god. Little janky. And then we'll just cut it like this. All nice and even. Diced onions. Alright, I'm getting a little uh, bevy going on here. I'm gonna try out, not try out, but I'm gonna have this Olipop. This is their new classic root beer flavor. And if you're not familiar with Olipop, let me just show you how cool this drink is. It's like soda. This will taste just like root beer. But this is only 35 calories, 9 grams of fiber, 2 grams of sugar, and look at these ingredients. Pretty amazing. Chicory root, Jerusalem artichoke. So this is a prebiotic beverage. I don't know. They also have, what other flavors do they have? Cola, strawberry, van vanilla, strawberry vanilla, I think, and then lemon ginger. Amazing. Really good. The cola is so good. Gotta have the Olipop. Oh, it's blurry, but. All right, beans are out of the pressure cooker. Cooked. Looking perfect. It's funny, they looked blue before, now they look brown. brown. But they're black beans. Yep. These are the beans that we're gonna be using for our soup that we're about to cook up right now. So, here we go. They smell, this smells really good. Mmm, beans. Mmm, farts. All right, tortilla soup time. Got our pot going here. This is super easy. This is a great meal to make in large batches and to enjoy throughout the week. So we're gonna make a whole pot of this. We're gonna be using this vegetarian, well it's vegan, certified vegan actually. Uh, better than bouillon, no beef base. It's like a paste that turns into a broth. So this is always good to have on hand and if you don't have fresh veggie broth um, or like a container of veggie broth. It's definitely easier to fit in a fridge, especially if you don't have a big fridge. And they have a vegetable version, a beef, a vegan beef version, and a vegan chicken version. Just be careful that you don't get the actual chicken or actual beef version, because this brand has that too. But um, just look for the certified vegan label. And uh, yeah, you should be good. So we're going to be using the no beef base for this recipe. Um, but you can use vegetable broth, vegan chicken broth, whatever you want. So we're going to start out by adding just a little bit of broth into our pot. Ooh. And then we're going to add our onion and garlic in. We're just going to let this cook up until everything's nice and translucent and fragrant and all that good stuff. So this soup will be done in no time at all, which is great. because. I am hungry. Cheers, everybody. All right, here we go. Onions and garlic ready. I'm gonna cut off over here, but we're gonna roll with it. All we have to do now, super easy. We're gonna add in the rest of our broth, as well as some diced tomatoes. And then we have some beans that we just cooked up. Some corn, we got this in a can, drained it, rinsed it. And then we just have some spices here. We have some dried oregano, some chili powder, and then some cumin. That's it. We'll let this come to a boil, bring it down to a simmer. While this is cooking, or boiling, or simmering, or everything it's gonna do, uh, we'll make the strips. All right, now while our soup is Simmering, boiling, doing its thing. We're gonna make these tortilla strips. So we're gonna make them in an air fryer, but you can also make them in an oven. So we'll have instructions um, on how to do that below. Basically, we're just gonna cut our tortillas in half and then into strips. Easy, easy as that. After these are cut, we're just gonna coat them with oil. Um, you can do it without oil, but the texture is just, it gets a little bit tough. So with oil, they get more crispy and nice. So, so now we're just gonna cut our or coat our strips with some oil, 
Um, you can totally just opt out of the oil, but the oil will help make it a little bit crispier, so it's totally optional to each their own. Air fryers are pretty popular right now, and um, a lot of people ask us if it's worth getting. Um, it really depends on your situation. So if you have an oven that convection bakes, then you probably don't need an air fryer. We like these because they're small. Um, it's pretty easy to use. Our oven actually doesn't convect bake, so this is a good alternative to that. If you're in a, a dorm or you're in a small apartment, these are a great option because you can get that nice crispy texture with food without using much oil or no oil. So that's pretty cool. But the jury's out. I don't know. What do you guys think of air fryers? Let us know. Our soup is simmering. And we're just going to add in some cilantro now. And then mix that through. And our tortillas are air frying over yonder. So the chips are out of the uh, air fryer. Some of them were on top of each other, so they didn't cook evenly, but listen to this. Yum. That's the crunch that I'm talking about. So dinner is done. This was the easiest out of all of them, just because you kind of just dump everything and think, okay. Yeah, I made it, you know. Do you have a cut on your lip? Yeah, you have a cut right here. Weird. I don't think it's a cut. I think it might be blueberry from the pancakes earlier. No. Ew. How is that on your lip for so I've been saving long? it. Ew. Okay. <laughs> Dinner is served. Oh. So, as you saw, this recipe is super easy to make. Super delish. We yeah, would serve simple. this with avocado. However, the all of ours... are hard. Are, they're hard, so... We kind of got snubbed there. Um, we tried to find ripe ones, but it, it was difficult and... It didn't happen today. But we did get sour cream. So I went to the store today called Chuck's Produce. Chuck's Produce, yum. And they had four different kinds of vegan sour cream. So they had this one, Forager Project, as well as Good Karma, which I had never seen before. And then they had Follow Your Heart Sour Cream and Tofuti Sour Cream. And Tofuti was the cheapest, this one was the second cheapest, and then it was Good Karma, and then Follow Your Heart. I think they ranged from like $3 to around five fifty. The reason I got this one was because it's organic, and it was the second cheapest. So I think it was only $0.50 cents more than the Tofuti, which is good. I like the Tofuti one too. And um, this one's really good also. It's Made from coconut and cashew milk, so super creamy, probiotic, which is nice. So yeah, that's our uh, sour cream situation. I really good mozzarella, might as well put some on My top. My god! So vegan cheese has really come a long way. When I first went vegan, it was <laughs> kind of disgusting, I should say. Uh, for lack That's of an understatement. Better uh, term. I'm not gonna name any brands. Yeah, but, but um, they've really grown and improved. And this brand is Violife, and I really like their products. I think they're delicious and pretty spot on to um, what cheese tastes like, or at least from what I remember. Other brands that are really good are Follow Your Heart. Um, they have Shreds, so delicious has Shreds. Miyoko's is coming out with Shreds. Stay yeah. tuned. Miyoko's is really good, but the only thing about Miyoko's is it's quite expensive. So I let people know like that's like the best quality one, and that's definitely a cheese to impress non-vegans. But we don't get it all the time just because it's really Miyoko's got some not fun really stuff in the works for 2020. Let me just tell you. Tortillas. So, um, Tofuti sour cream is good, but it's really thick. Like, this one's mm -hmm. actually runny. A runny. Bit. Whenever we use Tofuti, we always have to water it down. So, I think that's another benefit of this one. It's already just ready to go. Some vegan cheese. I would have used cheddar, but we don't have any. And some cilantro on top. Simple, easy, delicious, affordable, and vegan. Most importantly. Wow. That's really mm. good. Do you want lime or are you good? I'm good? Oh, actually, I didn't season it with any salt and pepper, but you can do that to taste. 
Um, the vegetable broth is just, yeah, yeah, has a lot of salt or sodium in it, so. I'm surprised you didn't put pepper. You yeah, love I was pepper. gonna say a little black pepper would be really good. I'm gonna put a little on mine. Tastes just like sour cream to me. That's good. It's good with everything together, I like it. All right, we're gonna enjoy dinner and then we'll chat with you guys after. Close out the video and say our goodbyes. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, these recipes, we tried to keep them as simple as possible and still pack a whole bunch of flavor into them. Yeah. Um, everything was pretty much just mix it up and then like... Cook it. Yeah, minimal steps. Um, so if you're just starting out, you're not too familiar with cooking, these are perfect recipes. Um, yeah. So um, if you didn't know, Chris and I have a website called sweetsimplevegan.com. It is a vegan blog and we were actually nominated for a Veg News Veggie Award this year. We are under the best blog category. So if you guys can take a moment to go vote, um, that would be much appreciated, very helpful for us. I will put the link down below and we are on question number 37. I mean, of course, you can vote for whatever else you want to vote for, but just in case you're looking for our number, it's number 37. There's a lot of cool stuff on there, so I don't know. I always look forward to the Veggie Awards every year. Yeah, and it's cool to, if you want to learn about new brands or like the best brands out there, it's really cool to just browse through it and see who was nominated um, because they nominated the best in the best. <laughs> I guess so, <laughs> Thank right? Thank you, Veg News. I think that's all we have to say for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe down below. Hit the bell notification. We post videos every Wednesday and Friday. Yeah, <laughs> I have to cough, I don't know. Yeah, we post videos every week and we're looking forward to hopefully having you join us if you're new to our channel. So we'll see you soon. Peace. Bye.